Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in Ithaca, New York, and practice concentrates on the DWI defense, but I do other types of criminal defense matters. Today I want to talk to you about a shoplifting case. I had a guy, he was shoplifting at Walmart. Uh, the big box stores around here, the Targets, the Walmarts, the Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, they have cameras inside and uh, people sometimes don't want to pay for things and they put them in their pockets or put them in their backpacks. Uh, sometimes they could pay for them, but they just decide for whatever reason, whatever's going on, that they're not. Uh, so this is a shoplifting case. And uh, under the New York State criminal statutes, it's called petty larceny if it's less than $1,000. So in this case, it is less than $1,000 worth of merchandise in his pockets. Uh, but he wanted to know because the police did not read him his rights. After they had cuffed him and they started asking questions, they didn't read him his rights. So. I guess he felt like, well, I didn't get my Miranda, so isn't the arrest illegal? Isn't what they did to me illegal? Can't we just get the case tossed out because of that? And uh, my answer is no, it, it doesn't work that way. And I think people are confused, and I was thinking about this this morning, why people are so confused about Miranda. Miranda is only about statements. But when people see or hear about Miranda in the movies and on TV, Miranda is always <laughs> involving a murder and somebody committed murder and now somebody's gonna confess. They're gonna make somebody confess to that crime, to that murder, because they can't tie that person to the murder scene. Either they don't have the weapon or they don't have all the, all the evidence. So the main piece of evidence, someone said, hey listen, I did it, I killed him, I blah, 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 whatever. A confession, but with the crime, say, of shoplifting with this boy, uh, whether he said that the items you know, magically jumped off the shelves into his pockets or into his bags or not, I mean, or whether he said, yeah, I did it, or didn't say I did it, it's not gonna matter to the actual case because they have a good arrest because they have the person with all the merchandise in their pockets. They had them leaving the bounds of the store. That's enough evidence in and of itself to bring out and to make out a charge of shoplifting. So Miranda in that case is not gonna have a lot of weight it's not going to have a lot of value as to an other case, uh, like a murder case. If you have questions about your criminal matter in the upstate region I practice out of the Ithaca area, uh, either give me a call or shoot me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it.